What's going on, everybody? Richie here. It's the GZCL training vlog. Uh, Mesocycle two, microcycle three. This is week three. So doing ascending sets of four on my main lifts. Uh, so sets of four with 87.5, 90%, and 92.5% of my 260 pound training max for bench press. So the working weights wind up coming out to like 226 and a half. 234 and 240.5. Uh, trying to keep it at RPE 9 for that last set. Uh, so what I'm going to do from now on is if I get to rep number 4 on the top set and I feel like I got 3 reps left in the tank, I'm going to go for an extra 2 reps. I'm going to keep it right at that RPE 9. Maybe not necessarily go to failure though. Try to keep it at RPE 9. I'll probably start doing that for week 2 as well where I'm hitting three sets of five with 85%, trying to keep it at RPE eight. So if I feel like I got you know four reps left in the tank, I'm just gonna go till I have two reps in reserve left. And I'll probably start doing that every single uh, micro cycle from now on. But here comes the top set. To be completely honest, it was a little bit more difficult than I expected it to be. But still wound up hitting my prerequisite numbers so I got four and then I got one extra and I kept it at RPE 9 so I honestly I, for some reason today I was like you know I think I'm gonna hit it for like seven or eight today <laughs> but you know that's just kind of how I am I set like lofty expectations for myself but can't really be mad with five I mean it was only like I don't know six weeks ago that I hit anything over you know 225 for more than five and then since then, I've gone on to hit, you know, 235, 228 for five, 235 for five, 242 for five, last training block. Uh, now, you know, 234 for five and 240 for five today. So that's progression. That's progression. I'm just living in the, in the future right now. I, got, I just want to get to these goals so quick. And I just got to remind myself how far I've come and that that's still good progress. And, you know, according to the one rep max calculator, 280 to 285 should be there for me next time I go to max out. So, uh, you know, can't be mad at that. Can't be mad at that. And then here what I'm doing is I'm just doing sets of five neutral grip pull-ups. Doing a set, setting the timer for a minute, hitting another five. Set the timer for a minute, hit another five. Did that seven times, walking around at 210 today with all my gear on. No point in recording all those sets. It's just really just getting volume in at a 210 pound body weight. That's all it really is. I think last training session, I might have did 32 total reps, taking my sweet time in between sets. And that was like when I was walking around at 205. Today I'm 210 and I knocked out the same amount of reps, maybe even a little bit extra in probably like half the time. So... That's progression. This is progressive overload, guys. Like I said, there's so many ways for you to keep advancing. It's all just really about just tracking it, making either a, a written note or a recorded note or a mental note. But I, I don't trust my mental note because I, I can't even remember what I ate for breakfast this morning. So I got to at least record it or write it down real quick in the memo. And then my other assistance move, more standing press. So today isn't my standing press day, but I'm still doing press. Just like on the days that press is my main lift, I do bench press. But I'm working with 75% of my 180-pound uh, my, my training max. It comes out to 135. Just smashing out three sets of eight. I didn't record all three, but you, know, you guys get the point with that too. It's good to know that I can just smash out 135 for you know, volume now. I'm at that point. So the progress, uh, it's, it's, it's real. You guys can go back and look when I was struggling to do the same amount of reps with uh, 95 pounds. All right. So after that, I did some inverted rows, some bodyweight rows for volume, just like five sets of 10. Just pumping up the upper back, trying to balance out all that pushing. You guys can see I'm getting brolic right now. All this accessory work, all this hypertrophy training, and being in that slight caloric surplus is paying off. Make sure that I'm eating like 32, 3300 calories every single day. Getting adequate protein, about 180 grams, and all this accessory work is starting to uh, is starting to pay off. Starting to get bigger, starting to get stronger. 
I was, you know, debating, bouncing the idea back and forth, going on a cut. Decided not to. Decided actually to just be at maintenance, recomp a little bit, or even just stay in a slight surplus for a while is, is going to be the biggest benefit to my goals right now. And uh, w- when it comes to this hypertrophy moves, I'm not tracking it uh, as like religiously as I'm doing my main lifts, but I'm still tracking it. Trying to make sure that I do at least a few more reps or a little bit more weight every single time. Just chasing that pump, you know, feel it, feeling that burn. And really trying to just uh, just slowly add weight over time. And it's working. And then I decided to just hit this bag a little bit. I'm not a boxer, guys. But, you know, just try to keep the uh, the old one-two sharp. Keep that jab snappy. I got to do a better job about keeping my hands up. That's a bad habit. So, uh, I don't know. I might start throwing in a little bit more bag work in my training. Now, either as a warm-up or a cool-down. I don't know. But uh, I definitely got to make sure I keep that chin tucked and keep those hands up a little higher. So, <laughs> might work on that a little bit, too. Uh, all right, guys. That's the training vlog. That's what I'm working on right now. Progress is being made. We'll continue to keep you updated. In a couple weeks, I'm planning on breaking every single PR that I have. So stay tuned for that. It's coming real soon. All right, guys, take it easy. I'll talk to you next time.